Prime Minister Narendra Modi met Iranian President Hassan Rouhani on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly. Now, the meeting is significant for various reasons. Firstly, it comes right after Modi's back-to-back -back meetings with U.S. President Donald Trump in Houston and New York. Secondly, in his UN General Assembly address, Trump tore into Iran and labeled it as one of the greatest security threats facing peace-loving nations. The relations between Iran and the U.S. have been quite tense over the past few months. Now, this comes after Indian Prime Minister Modi met Trump twice during his current U.S. visit. Caribbean countries, uh, uh, these countries, uh, India reaching out, it's for the first time this summit is going to happen. But there's a lot more business being conducted at the United Nations. If you want to invest in a market where the latest train and futures are appreciated come to India. On to our next story now. While a political storm rages on in the United States concerning the charges that could possibly lead to his impeachment, U.S. President Donald Trump met Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky on the sidelines of the U.N. General Assembly. In a recent revelation, a whistleblower complaint has now stated that the White House did try to cover up the details of the call. Now, the new complaint said that the call transcript was not stored in the usual computer system. The call was instead stored in a separate system used for classified information. In the letter, which was released, the whistleblower has accused Trump of using the power of his office to solicit interference from a foreign country in the U.S. 2020 election. This comes as U.S. lawmakers have started a hearing to question President Trump's top intelligence official on the issue. Joseph McGuire, who is the acting national intelligence chief, had earlier refused to share the complaint with Congress. First, I want to stress that I believe that the whistleblower and the inspector general have acted in good faith throughout. I have every reason to believe that they have done everything by the book and followed the law. Would you agree that the whistleblower complaint alleges serious wrongdoing by the President of the United States? Uh, the whistleblower complaint in, involved uh, the, the allegation of that. Uh, it is not for me in the intelligence community to decide how the President conducts uh, his foreign policy or his interaction with leaders of other countries, sir.